As most of you probably know, I'm currently developing a 2D ragdoll Spider-Man game and over the last weeks it improved a lot. To start expanding the game, I added a white circle. And even crazier, I made it moving. Now you might know what this is for. Hint, it's not about a white flying ball. I just need to add some code and voila, Spidey can shoot. This was actually pretty easy to implement. Now when you double click, you can shoot these little bullets. There's only one problem. When you're moving very fast, it feels like you're shooting in slow motion, since the relative velocity of the bullet is too similar to that of your body. Just making the bullet faster wouldn't solve the problem, since then it would be too fast when you aren't moving. The solution is to add the current velocity to the bullet and this way it always starts with the same relative velocity. But shooting doesn't feel cool enough. Yet. <coughs> Adding recoil makes shooting feel more impactful. Okay. This might be a little bit too much. And there's another problem. Since I have no cooldown for shooting, Spider-Man can do this. I guess this ability would have qualified him for the Avengers much faster. But I know, Spider-Man is about swinging. So let's add some cooldown and the shooting works as desired. Now that we can shoot, we also need something to shoot at. During a live stream, I developed the first enemy and I know what you're thinking. Uh, Yannick, there's a live stream where you do such good things. Why wasn't I part of that stream? And to you, I have this simple instruction. Go to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, check out my other links, join my Discord, become ultra notified when I start streaming, head to Twitch and follow me over there. <gasps> Back to the enemy. The idea is that the enemies have guns and as soon as Spidey enters their field of vision they shoot him. And since this is a ragdoll game, the shot will add a ton of force to your body and throw you around. Y yeah, shooting the enemy also just adds force to them. I know, I know, I know, spider webs should be sticky and not behave like punching balls. But it's more fun this way. And it's my game, so I can do what I want. Fine. So I added the ability to pull the enemy to you with the spider web. And since this already feels pretty epic, I also made it that you can fix those enemies to walls. You just simply have to shoot a web at them and afterwards click at the wall you want to fix them to. This leads to some very nice behavior and is probably the best addition to the game so far. No, 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 no. In another live stream, I drew the models for our enemy. Don't ask me why, but it turned out to look like Trump. My theory, after he lost the presidential election, tax investigators started to inspect his financial situation. So he needed to go underground and join some evil forces. And uh, yeah, we need a hero to stop him. I'm not surprised if I just predicted the future. Huh. Yeah, rip him apart, Spidey. I fixed this and now everything is fine. Except there are multiple trumps now. I thought that one is already more than the world can handle. Huh. Back to the drawing tablet. We need more and better skyscrapers. I created this new skyscraper design and it magically didn't fit at all. My problem, I'm really bad at choosing good colors. So I tried to use Adobe's color wheel, which helps you to find fitting colors. I searched for something that matches Spidey's red and this blue should be nice. Let's color the blue in blue and it's uh, yeah, too bright. No problem, I just made it darker and now it fits well. Another color that should do great is green, since this is the complementary color of red. And with some window diversity and color shifting, I quickly got eight different buildings. 
Scaling them on the x-axis allows for a huge building variety. Last, I drew a steel beam, since having only skyscrapers would be boring. And here's my current result. As you can see, I also added some particle effects and sprites to make the shooting visually more pleasing. The game isn't done yet, but it's getting close. Now I ask you, should Spidey have a health system so he can die when he gets shot? Or should we just stick with the rigid body force so you can only die by falling down? Tell me in the comments and I hope I will see you in the next devlog.